Good morning, guys. It is now Sunday, and I'm heading out of home to go to Villa Medici and meet with my boyfriend first. And it's super late because my alarm this morning decided that not going off was going to be a good idea. I don't know what does it. I think it's because of it's Sunday, and so it thinks that on Sunday it, it doesn't have to, you know, like go off properly and make the proper noise of the of my alarm I don't know I don't know but it's super late so I'll catch you in a few minutes alright almost wrong way yes I still get lost in my own city please don't comment on that get in in the lift Going out. The sun. Okay, I'm Finally. Yay. Peacocks. So this is the villa and it was built in the 16th century and these are the front gardens it's like a labyrinth made of bushes look at this fountain no where oh I see them can you see them it's like sculptures made from the bushes I don't know if you can see them we have a swan we have a little puppy dog and some more animals this is probably a rooster and I don't know what this is we have another swan and oh look at this a brown swan oh look how pretty are they look at the villa this mansion is insane look at the details so since the early 19th century like 1803 I think uh, it became the um, uh, location I think for the Royal French Academy and still is guys just look how freaking real this looks this all looks like real snake and here is the view this is the highest point in Rome so the view is pretty amazing That right here is St. Peter's tomb and then that is the Palazzaccio as we call it. Right here we have the Altare della Patria and this is the Spanish steps down here. There are the Spanish steps. So yeah, I think we're we're living now. The gardens were pretty nice. It was actually not like what I expected. I think I expected a little bit more. But um, I was a bit upset that we couldn't visit the inside of the mansion actually. But yeah, it was nice anyway. And today, as I said, it was the open day, so it was free entry. And I think we're going back another day to visit the inside part of the villa. We're kind of going into this tunnel to get to Villa Borghese. <laughs> and we are now going to Villa Borghese, which is another one of the amazing parks in Rome. I think it's second to Villa Banfili for beauty. And what is this? What is this? 
Can you see that? It's like a wooden house. I've never seen it. Definitely not wooden, it's stone. I think it's a it's like an abandoned something. And then down here they rent the rishos. I don't know, how do you call them? I have no idea how these are called. Anyway, this building is so cool. This is the famous Esculapius Lille Lake or in Italian Laghetto di Esculapio and that is the temple Esculapius Temple Oh hi white pigeon Rome is full of pigeons and um, oh god I can't remember the name seagulls pigeons and seagulls you can even rent these little boats and have a nice tour of the lake by water so it's really nice what the hell are these animals can you see them they are huge like ducks are half of them I don't know what they are but they are quite scary I was saying guys, I don't know if you could hear me before, but I was saying that vlogging feel less uncomfortable than one, uh, what I thought it was going to be. So I'm quite happy with this first attempt of vlogging, unless when I come home, I'm so afraid that like the audio won't hear, won't be as loud as, as it should be. So I really hope it doesn't. Because this camera doesn't have a plug-in for an external microphone so I'm gonna have to deal with this audio right now I really hope it's good enough so this thing is the thing that was sleeping before that I didn't know what it was it's huge <laughs> look at this it's so pretty though oh yes not very happy to see us we are now going back to the underground. It's noon, so yeah, I haven't had breakfast because, as I said, I was such in a hurry, in such a hurry that I didn't have time to have a proper breakfast. I could only have just eaten something on the go, but then I would have been hungrier than if I didn't eat. So I don't know if that happens to you. So I ended up not eating, and now I'm getting starting to get quite hungry. Back in the car, and it feels like summer. It, feel, it feels like sauna, actually. What if I put the camera down here? I don't know if you can see me. Can you see me? I think it will last like probably three seconds before it falls over. Yeah, so um, coming back home now, having lunch and I don't know, I think I'm going to stay home this afternoon. I still don't know. Home outfit on and it's just this fluffy hoodie because inside houses right now during spring it's way chillier than outside so while outside you can easily just wear um, a short sleeve t-shirt inside your house it's going to be so much chillier if you live in Rome and you will probably understand this and you have to put something a little bit more thick over your t-shirt so that's what I'm doing right now I literally think my computer is going to take hours to import this whole footage the struggle is real. Also, I think I'm going to, to end the vlog here because I'm not doing much more today. I think I'm just going to be working on some computer stuff and yeah, that's all for today I think. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this new format. Let me know what you think in the comments and if you want to see more Rome, more of Rome through this vlog kind of video um, leave it a like if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe to see a lot more about Rome and Italian culture. See you in my next video and on Instagram. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I leave the, all of the infos here and in the info box down below. So see you later. Bye. Ciao.